Okay. So when you guys are all here, we can now actually do a couple things to test. So the first test we want to do is the one that hopefully everyone's already done. That's just to run ifconfig and confirm that you have the IP address you think you have and that the net mask is what you think it should be, 255.255.255.0. The next thing we want to do is we want to confirm that we actually have the gateway that we expect. So to check that gateway command, you actually use a command called route. This will print out what's called the routing table. Not a networks class, so we're not going to dive too deep into it. But you should have on the very first line here a sign that says default, and the gateway should be the one we programmed in. So 192.168.0.1, and it should have this 0.0.0.0 mask. So this line's basically saying anything that isn't on the local network, send it to 192.168.0.1, which is then going to send it to the internet. So if you all have this line, you're good. If you're missing this line, there's probably a problem in your config file. Are people good? So? Well, it just doesn't like you. Um, just a second, I'll take a look. Are other people good? Somebody's good? Okay. Yeah, yeah. We'll move on then. I don't have the, the Ethernet one. Do I need that? No. Okay. You'll be missing. All that matters is this first line. You guys weren't, so I'm plugged into the Ethernet, you're not. Um, but if you were, you'd have that line. So the only thing you guys should care about is this first line, the rest of them don't really matter. Or it may not even be the first line. You guys should have at least one line that says 192.168.0.1 and has a mask of 0.0.0.0. .0. If you do, you're good. Okay, so now let's do an actual test. So uh, the simplest little network test tool is a command called ping. Ping just sends a packet to some IP address and waits for that IP address to send a packet back. Now, ping doesn't work with everything. Like if you try to ping CNN.com, it doesn't actually work because CNN.com have pings turned off. That's just a security thing. CNN doesn't want you trying to see if they're up or down because if enough people do it, it can crash their website. So they just turn it off altogether. Google, because you know they're computer people, leave it turned on. So if you want to make sure, uh, well maybe first, if you guys all try to ping my Raspberry Pi, it'll confirm that you at least have local connectivity. So my address is 192.168.0.33. And of course I can ping myself, but if this is working, what you'll see is a series of lines go by here, one for each packet that gets sent. It's basically just saying it sent 64 bytes, it received a response from the IP address it went to, <coughs> so just a sequence number, um, and then the last number here is the round trip time in milliseconds, so it's telling you how long it took you to get there. If you ping someplace in Paris, you'll notice it takes a lot longer than if you ping something sitting in the front of the room like this. Uh, you can actually use it to kind of measure how far away things are on the internet, but with a grain of salt. When you want to stop this, you hit Control C, Control C will kill the ping command, it will give you a nice set of statistics here on the bottom for the entire run, so it's giving me min-max average, um, as well as the total number of packets transmitted, and it's saying 0% packet loss, so that means they all got through. Uh, if this says 100%, it obviously means your system isn't working. So if I tried to ping, it's going to be hard to, if I try to ping a network address that doesn't exist, I'll just get nothing will happen like this, and eventually I may start getting these hosts unreachable. But there it'll say 100% packet loss. So this is a not working. If you looked more like the first one, then it's working. So if that's good, the next step is let's actually try to ping something outside. Let's try to ping something on the internet. We can actually ping our DNS servers. So that's 8.8.8.8. So this is a server that Google operates sitting probably in California somewhere. Uh, they probably actually have mirrors of it. So if this works, it means our gateway is working correctly. So now we're actually sending traffic out of the network across the campus and to Google somewhere. If this failed, but the first one worked, it probably means that your gateway is wrong. For some reason, you can connect locally, but you can't go past that. People good thus far? At least those of you that were good from the beginning? OK, so then the final test is, can we actually resolve uh, DNS addresses? So if we try to ping something that is with a DNS address instead of an IP address, so if we ping like google.com now, if this first line works, if it resolves correctly, so I'll try to kill it. Um, so you'll notice on the very first line after I typed that in, it said ping google.com and then it gave an IP address here. So assuming it can generate this IP address, it means you're connected to your DNS servers, you are in fact translating Google to an IP address, and then the ping is just kind of proving the same thing as before, it's proving that we can actually contact someone outside of our network. Cool? Okay. Yours is still broken? Yes. Okay. Is anyone else's broken? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. um, 
Okay, I'll look at your guys' in one second. Um, actually, this is a good place to pause momentarily while I look at theirs. So, you know, ping around, have fun. Um, we'll be back momentarily.